Musketeers, fall back. I recommend attack the retreat. I agree, RC. But we need to hold them off a little longer. Hey, where's Blue Street? Good question. Bang, bang, bang! The crowd cheers for Blue Street! What an amazing dive! Blue Street blocks the opposition! Strikes! He scores! Blue Street with another amazing finish! Blue Street, get back here! Is he always this... unpredictable? More or less, but surprisingly, he's very efficient in battle. Blue Street engages upon the beautiful tempest temporarily assigned to his team. Cut the narration, commentary, or whatever else you're trying to start shooting. Fine. Excuse me for trying to bring some culture to our squad. Culture? Do you even know the meaning of the word? Is that Megatron. Fact is my name. Yes, and you must be some Autobot grunt whose name I don't care to learn. Hey there, Megatron. My name is Blue Street. What's your favorite color? Let me guess, silver. This is the part where you beg for mercy. You won't get that from us. Aren't you supposed to be on Earth? Uh, it was purple. Had to be purple. I no longer have any use for that planet. Prime can have it. I ain't scared of you, Megatron. Let's fight. Gears, no. Autobots, retreat now. I'll hold off Megatron. Breakaway, you don't have to be a hero. No, but I am in command and I've given you an order. Now go! You know you will die, right? Considering all of your power, you have one very fatal weakness, Megatron. And what is that? Overconfidence. Oh. Your inability to notice hologram. Breakaway doesn't exist, so see ya! Nice trick. Thanks. It's always useful to have a fake soldier with us. You'll never know when we need a hero to sacrifice himself for us. <laughs> anyway, let's return to Icon. Yes, Super Leader Hound, sir. I can never tell when you're being sarcastic. So, Megatron is back on Cybertron. Yeah, he claims that Earth is no longer of interest to him. Interesting. We were lucky to escape him back there. If it weren't for my holo projector, then we'd be scrap metal. There must be an explanation as to why Megatron is back on Cybertron. RC, I want you and Warpath to take the space bridge to Earth. I won't let you down, Magnus! Pow! But Megatron, the sooner we strike, the higher our chances of success are. Do not tell me the odds, Shockwave. I know the odds. Suggestion, we send Skystalker on a combat mission. His recent destruction of Axelon proved he is capable for the mission. Agreed, but this must succeed before Optimus Prime returns to Cybertron. If we proceed now, then our chances of achieving that are more likely. Go now. Make it happen. As you command. So get this. The humans don't need Energon to survive. How is that possible? What keeps them going? Huh, well I remember Spike lives on a fuel source called Pizza. And is this Pizza more powerful than Energon? Does Megatron know of it? I don't think so. I mean, humans are a lot smaller than us and organic. Sideswipe, Bumblebee, can you direct me to Optimus? RC, it's been a while. Sure, I can take you. 
So, this is Earth! Kablam! It's so tiny! You haven't seen anything yet. Sideswipe, aren't you going to come with us? No need. Bumblebee has already offered to guide you. He still like that then? Yep, more or less. Like what? A warrior who doesn't waste his time asking for directions and- <laughs> Whoa, Sideswipe, lighten up. I'm gonna go train. Awesome! Onwards to Optimus we go. So, you blown a planet up? That is correct. That's cool. Sure is. At least I can share the credit for this destruction. You're only tagging along to provide assistance, since the other flyers were too big for the step. I wonder how Megatron will react to find out that his top demolition expert was charged to pieces by unknown circumstances. Well, I imagine he'll kill the demolitions expert's assistant. Ark 2 commanded Ultra Magnus, do you read? Loud and clear, Sunstreaker. Huffers just intercepted some Decepticon chatter. I believe two flyers are en route to a location they plan to blow up. Understood, Sunstreaker. Have Huffer transmit all data and the transcript perceptor. Consider it done, Sunstreaker out. In our last encounter, Megatron did mention conquering Cybertron. The key to Vector Sigma must have been his only reason for being on Earth. And since that's gone... Either way, he's back on Cybertron. Then we must also return to Cybertron. You serious? And what about the Decepticons still on this planet? Our resources indicate Megatron was for his entire team home with them! BLAM! I was referring to the Rebel Decepticons. Led by the Fallen, aka Megatronus Prime. Yes, the Fallen is quite a powerful foe. But he has always remained in the shadows. Megatron, however, will rain destruction on all those in his path, and he will not stop. One of the Fallen chooses to come out the shadows now, and attack while our guard is down. He will have to wait. Megatron must not be allowed to conquer the galaxy. Wow! Optimus Prime is running Cybertron! Kazam! I do feel as though we should leave some Autobots on Earth to continue fighting the remaining Decepticons. I couldn't agree more. Which is why I'm promoting Prowl to Earth's new Autobot commander. Me? Wow. I'm honored, Optimus. Ironhide, Jazz, you shall join me on Cybertron. I got your back, Prime. This is great! Cybertron will finally have its leader back! Ultra Magnus will be so pleased. Oh yeah. Old Magnus really isn't a fan of leadership. <laughs> Prowl, assemble everyone in the space bridge room. Yes, sir. <laughs> I believe the attack is to be on Iacon. Iacon, are you serious? I do not believe that to be the case. Well, I do. All signs point to that conclusion. There are anomalies, though. I need further analysis. We don't have the time. All units prioritize defense on Iacon and be on the lookout for Decepticon activity. I'm telling you like this, I do not believe the target to be Iacon. Then where else would they attack? I need time. We don't have time. This is it? To think we are about to destroy something so great. Correction, I'm gonna destroy it. Just look out for our bots. Fine. Do you ever think that sometimes you demand more credit than you deserve? You are asking me that. Out of all the Decepticons, you are asking me that? Uh, yeah. I can see why Megatron wanted you out of the base. You must be the new arrivals. Welcome to Planet Terraforma, or Earth, as it's more commonly known. Ratchet? I don't believe it. You're the greatest medic Cybertron has ever seen. You inspired me to become a doctor. Thanks, kid. I'm guessing you're the new medical officer. Yeah, that's me. First aid. And you've got the Wreckers helping you on this planet now. Yeah, those rebel Decepticons don't stand a chance. The Wreckers? You don't know who we are? Hi! This guy doesn't know who we are! How can you not heard of us? We're infamous. Maybe this will jog your memory. Wreck and rule! Nope, no idea who you are. Unbelievable! Anyway, how about we give you the tour of the base? Finally! It's time for me to leave this planet! Me, Grimlock, no want to leave! Don't worry, Grimlock, you can come back and visit. 
Yay for visiting! Plus you can look forward to fighting lots of Decepticons on Cybertron. Double yay for battle! Are you sure you don't want to return to Cybertron? No, Mirage, if Megatronus Prime resides on this planet, then I shall seek him out. Our master deserves vengeance. Very well. He has taught you well. I attempt to restore peace on Cybertron, so this is where I pass part. Till we meet again, Mirage. I shall remain with Ratchet and RC while we tie up some loose ends here. What loose ends? RC and I are to debrief Prowl on his new duties. Meanwhile, Ratchet is with Moonracer showing first aid in the wreckers around the base. Well, we'll see you on the other side. I gave you two the same training I gave Optimus, so I best not see this planet fall into Decepticon rule. Don't worry. I think I'll manage being this planet's greatest warrior just fine. With that kind of attitude, you'll go a long way. It won't be the same without you, Ironhide. Don't worry. Once we finish Megatron, we'll be back to help you out with the following. We ready to go? Sail! Affirmative. Autobots, stand ready for transportation. Farewell, my friends. I shall join you soon. It is done. Already? Nice one. So, now I recommend getting out of here. No! How could I have looked this? The target is the Space Bridge Core! Perception of all Autobot forces! The Decepticon's target is the Space Bridge Core! Repeat! The target is the Space Bridge Core! What's going on? Decepticons are attacking the Space Bridge Core. What? The ramification of that? They must be stopped! Is anyone in the area? There's only one Autobot who can get there in time! Megatron will be so pleased with me! Maybe I'll get a promotion! You won't get anything from this. This is all my work. Then allow me to personally pay you for it. Well, if you want to keep all the credit to yourself, then maybe you should fight by yourself. <laughs> You're too late. Where are they? Where are the explosives? Answer me! I like to destroy things. I destroyed Axelon, and now I'm going to destroy the Space Bridge Network. Are you insane? What do you hope to achieve by this? Why, Anarchy, of course. Megatron wants to cripple the Autobots by cutting off their transportation. I, however, just want to bring forth chaos. <laughs> Is it really worth losing your life over? Like I said, you too late. There's been an explosion near the Space Bridge Core. How bad? Springer to base, I arrived too late. The Decepticon Skystalker rigged the core of explosives. There was nothing I could do. Understood, Springer. You did more than we could, and for that I am grateful. Return to Iacon for a debrief. L let me get this straight. The Space Bridge is gone, and now Optimus and the other Autobots are stuck on Earth with no way home? That is correct, Ironhide. With the Space Bridge gone, all our years of working implementing Space Bridge technology and setting up outposts across the galaxy, all meaningless. Hey, these may look like dark times, but what Optimus want us to fixate on the negatives of the situation. There's really nothing positive about this. Sure there is. With the Space Bridge gone, Megatron is also closed off from the rest of the universe. He's got a valid point. I believe he does. What is your name, young warrior? I'm Hot Rod. I see a promising future ahead of you, Hot Rod. Everything is fine at this end. The problem must be elsewhere. I am first aid, the new medic. Not a good time. Can you check again? I could, but I'll just get the same results. Just give it a couple of cycles. Megatron! Why must you shout my name when you see me? A simple hello would suffice. You've done something to the space bridge, haven't you? I haven't. No. Although one of my underlings has destroyed the space bridge core. <laughs> that explains a lot. I'm so glad I could help explain things to one of Prime's worthless pawns. Why, Megatron? Why destroy the Space Bridge Network? Well, I figured that it benefits you more than it benefits me. You see, I want to rule Cybertron, but I'm already on Cybertron, so I have no mood for intergalactic travel at the moment. 
We both know why you did it. Because you're afraid that I'll stop you. Perhaps. If that's what you wish to believe. But the truth remains. I'm going to conquer Cybertron. And there isn't a single thing you can do to stop me. Oh, and say goodbye to your long-range communications. Optimus? Megatron! Megatron! Megatron!